Preparing for a trail running race? You need a good pair of uh, trail running shoes. Today, I have a uh, Evadic Race Light Trail Running Shoes from Decathlon. Race Light is all terrain trail running shoes for a short distance up to 40 kilometers or competitors looking for a performance. Before I go on to the details about these shoes, here are some of the disclosures. This shoes was sent to me by a decathlon for a review and trail purpose. However, they are not paying me to say anything good or bad about these shoes. So this is gonna be my very honest review about this trail running shoes. So the disclosures are out of the way. Let's discuss some of the good or bad thing about this trail running shoes. This is really a light trail running shoes, 225 grams on a size eight. Considerably, this is very light on a trail running shoes. Usually the trail running shoes are a bit on a heavier side. However, due to the way this has been built and the materials that has been used on these shoes, this is really a light shoes. Let's talk about the energy return. Due to the up bar technology in PBAX combined with the 4mm drop that promotes the accelerations. When we talk about drops, there are a mixed thoughts among runners. Higher heel to toe drop means better propulsion or a lower drop closer to the ground and a performance from the mid to forefoot. So it's an individual choice when it comes to the drop from the uh, heel to the toe. Let's talk about a little bit of uh, tractions. Due to the 5mm locks on these shoes, the traction is phenomenal on these shoes. I had done about three runs with these shoes now, including one of the toughest uh, hike that I have done it in Lambak, Malaysia. And it really performed very, very well. So thanks to all these spikes that you can see it over here and really holds the ground when you are on a terrain or all type of a terrain actually, whether it's a muddy or if it's a or stony or, or I would say um, basically all kind of uh, terrain. Let's talk about a bit of a fit onto these shoes. Okay, so this is designed to fit at the perfection. So in that sense, this is a little bit of a, a slim uh, cut shoes, not really a wider. So those of you who are um, wide foot, uh, these shoes may not be the, the, the suitable one. So uh, if you are seeking into a wider cut, then probably this shoes might not be the one you should be looking into it. So you may check it out other model of the shoes at Decathlon. But if you are to those who run or wear a slimmer fit, then this is a perfect shoes for you. Let's talk about the durability about this shoes. I do not have much experience or I would not be able to speak in, in terms of uh, durability. However, uh, due to a uh, material that is used which is called matrix, which is called, I guess, yeah, that is how it is pronounced. I guess it's, that is how it is pronounced. Matrix mess that's made in France providing durability, support and breathability. So I would Assume that this shoes should last 
longer the way I look at it but um, please comment down below if you like me to make another video probably running after maybe 100 kilometers 200 kilometers what is the status or how what's the situation of this this shoes so for now the way I look at it it should last long actually so now let's look at the cushioning of these shoes okay uh, so this is uh, more of a minimalist uh, shoes uh, not really a stack high so that means uh, you would be feeling more of the ground which in my case I really enjoy so if you are those who like to uh, feel the grounds when you are running this shoes is really a good choice for you and uh, I wouldn't say it does not have any um, any cushionings uh, or the feel uh, as you can see that the the cushion is there but it is not to those of uh, a very high stack or very cushiony shoes all right so let's talk about a little bit of other functional side of these shoes okay starting from the heel cup of the shoes when i was running on these shoes i could really feel that the heel cup really holds very well there is a little bit of cushioning not much of the the much of the cushioning on the on the heel side of the shoes so it doesn't really feel that when you sweat and it holds and it you feel that it's really squeezy squeezy type so this is really a good um, choice however the color for me particularly the color in a lighter blue on the the cushion here it's not really my choice when you run on the muddy uh, terrain or when you run on the wet surface or even you uh, sweat a lot I assume that this would get dirty very fast yeah so I guess that could have been better on this shoes moving on to the the tongue it's very slim tongue as you can feel it here it's quite not really much of a cushion which in my case I really like it as well because when you sweat when you are on a on a long distance running when you sweat it's better not to have a cushion on the tongue itself so that the shoes stays always light and you don't feel heavy when you are running and even also you don't feel the squeezy feeling when you are running uh, with all those sweats going into those uh, into your shoes so that is one good good part about these shoes as well the another thing i really liked about these shoes is about the the less pocket inside instead of um, some other brands uh, some other shoes i know uh, the the shoes pockets are facing outwards however on these shoes good thing about it is it's easy to really snug inside the inside the pocket your, your shoelace just easily goes into it so it's really facing towards yourself so you it's easy for you to really slide your your um uh, laces I, I don't know yeah laces inside the shoes other than that the upper is made from this material called matrix which you can feel that it's really nicely built and very breathable when you are running on the hot weather like here in Singapore it's all the year round very hot weather very humid so you really feel the air going into or, or uh, the, the passing through the air into your feet so you really won't feel very hot in these shoes actually and looking into the upper the, the front part of the shoes as well the way it's built it really protects when you are running especially if you are running into those uh, rocky um, terrain where you may be uh, hitting onto the rock you can see that the, your toe would be protected over here and and you would really feel protected with all these materials that has been built the plastic materials the protection that it has it on the front part of it all right going into the lower part as you can see i mentioned earlier on the the logs that the spikes that you have it it's really a, a good good traction that it gives it to you when you are running into uh, any kind of a terrain be it a rocky terrain you go into the mud you go into the water it really holds up like i mentioned my last trip to lambak in malaysia i used this shoes for my 1200 meters elevation which really helped me a lot when i'm going down down downwards or even i'm uh, going upwards towards the hill so it was really 
good experience on these shoes so here is my final verdict about these shoes these shoes first is very light on the trail running shoes i have not ever run on a shoes that is this much of a light and the uh, heel to the toe drop 4mm it's just nice that you will really feel you are feeling the ground and if you need to um, accelerate 4mm for me my own personal uh, view it's just good enough for you to you know pick up a pace in terms of uh, traction with the 5mm locks the spikes it's really good I, for me personally I would say it would be able to match up to the all other trail running shoes in market as well in terms of a price point it's 130 Singapore dollars right so if you like to purchase these shoes I'll put a link down below so you can purchase it online and deliver to your doorstep or you can just place an order and collect it from one of the decathlon stores as well all right so that's about these shoes for today and if you like this video give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos to come if you have anything to ask about these shoes uh, any technical uh, informations or any other things that you would like to know please leave a comment down below and i will respond to you as soon as i can all right so thank you very much for watching thank you everybody bye bye